Hello, how is everybody uh, doing today? I am stopping in again today. It's been a long bit since I've made a video and I wanted to stop in and just sit and I was just cutting these little notes out. So I wanted to sit and chat a little bit about some of the happenings that were just, you know, that it causes the change in me not being around uh, crafting as much, though I have been um, as best I can trying to watch all the videos that you all share. But this year, one of my main goals, um, it wasn't a resolution, because every time I call something a resolution, it never seems to uh, work out the way that I want it to. So this is a goal that I had set for personally for myself. And um, that being said, if you think that this is something that you would like to participate in and part or just dive in like I have, um, feel free. But with all the moving that I've been doing, you know, between Oklahoma and then we moved to Texas and we were in Texas for a year and now we are in uh, Minnesota and um, <clears throat> There is a possibility, while very slight, that we will at some point here in the near future, or maybe not so near future, maybe at some point here um, within the next several months, that we may be moving back to uh, Oklahoma. Of course, I didn't know this when I first started this, my goal, but back in when we moved from Texas here to Minnesota, I... Um, I was packing all my craft supplies and I the more I packed the more I was thinking dear God what was I thinking when I um, accumulated and bought all these supplies it was so much to pack just so much to sort through it was honestly a little bit overwhelming for me and I was crafting and crafting quite a bit but I um, I was just bringing in at things at such a uh, quick quick speed to expeditiously that um, I didn't realize it, but I just kept putting it away and putting it away and packing it away. And before I knew it, I was at where I was at. Um, this was back in September of last year when, it, when this finally dawned on me. So as much as I enjoy... Um, adding new things to my craft stash and continuing to add new items in there um, I decided that I would put myself on a complete no spending for a year just to give myself the opportunity to um, have less items accumulated and just less stress from just from me having to keep track of all the items. So for a whole year, I am just using the items I have on hand. And boy, do I have quite a large supply that I need to use. And evidently, a lot of things that I do enjoy very much because when I purchase them, I purchased them because um, they were items that I really, really liked. So within this year of using all these beautiful items that I have, um, hopefully I will have less accumulated and at the same time less to sort through, less to store and once I get it down to a level where I am comfortable with managing it then at that point I will um, add new items to, the, to my stash as needed at a much much slower pace and just being able to enjoy the items I have, let those items that I'm using and the paper and the stickers and the writing paper and, and fountain pens and inks and just items that I'm going to continue to enjoy without it having, me, having it overwhelm me as far as storage space. And as a side benefit of uh, not spending on, on anything but essentials. If I need glue or tape or something like that, that's okay. But only if it's something that I need, absolutely need, and have a use for at that time. And 
what I was going to say is, as a side benefit of not purchasing items for a whole year, I also, of course, am saving some monies. So it's, in my eyes, it's a win-win situation. I'm sure it's not for everyone because um, everyone does not fit into one little box. We're all a little bit different. That's just what I've chosen to do. And if you would like to um, join me in part or jumping right in to this um, goal of mine, you're more than welcome. Um, I do want to keep track though. I started this back in September of last year and what I want to do is I would like to start keeping uh, my blog posts updated. I do have a blog and I don't update it as often as I should. It's very sporadically but I want to go back and be able to read about um, my no spend uh, and what I've been doing and what I've been using and as I make more space in my um, stash how things um, <clears throat> just the space opens up where it's not as visually cluttered so to speak um, of course I'm going to continue crafting I'm, I don't plan on giving up crafting though I haven't been doing much crafting during this transition period here to Minnesota because um, it's been quite a change and it's been quite an adjustment and as I can foresee in my future it appears that there are going to be some more changes if we end up going back uh, to Oklahoma at some point. And something else I've added here recently, added to the mix, I've been uh, taking on a few little um, work projects here and there locally. Um, so that's also been taking up some of my time. But at the same time, um, I, that's been very um, rewarding for me as well. But anyhow, this is just some of the items that I have picked through from my boxes. A very small, small amount. I have all these um, stickers that I have purchased from the Dollar Tree within the last I don't know, few years, nothing recently, this is all with, that I had stored in my stash and stacked away. And I do a lot of snail mail writing and they're, they're all beautiful. I love them. I purchased them because I fell in love with these items. So now I need to make some cards, make some donations, uh, make some cards and donate them to a local charity, send them to a friend, uh, to make make give make them smile, to brighten their day, uh, for whatever the reason may be, while I might why I may use these particular stickers for um, a project, then I might have had an original a different reason when I purchased them for what I wanted to use them for, but evidently that reason went to the wayside, and nevertheless the stickers are all here, lots and lots of stickers, and these I just pulled out from. Uh, just pulled them out of a box and they were uh, stored away and of course if out of sight out of mind they don't get used and then these little guys showed up too these I evidently I bought for a buck I'm not sure what store it was it might have been Dollar Tree it might have been Hobby Lobby but I've made quite a dent in these since I've taken them out I've used several pages <coughs> and I've also shared Quite a few of these pages with some pen friends and added them to some envelopes and letters as uh, cutesy Valentine decorations um, just because so I've been doing that and I have a mail tag here that I am going to um, that I received in a letter and I'm going to go ahead and answer these questions on this card that I found in my stash uh, the bright sun it's real bright and sunny here in Minnesota today, but I'm going to write the answers to the these questions on my card here. I might need an extra card to um, answer all five questions, but I will do that, and then that will put a use to my this card that I found in my stash, and just things of that nature. The I had these washies, and that these kind of don't have a lot on them, and I've been I think I've used at least ten of these. Um, here within the re recent weeks because um, I just made myself um, the challenge of using them 
so I've gotten a bunch of these used and put put to a good purpose in my mail and just things of that nature I mean just getting the the, the um, perishable I guess when you have perishable things the perishable items in my stash used up and put to good use I don't know why it should have hit me way before uh, there's no need for storing all these items and just putting them in a box and then going to uh, see something new and something new and something new and bright and shiny catches my eye and then that comes home with me and on and on and on it continued until I finally said to myself oops I need to put the brakes on and pause for a moment and just slow down not completely pause, not completely stop after the period of time when my goal when I feel that I've reached my goal which I've set it at a year which is December of 2020 even though I started in September December of 2020 I shall reassess and see where I'm at and then continue on with um, crafting and whatnot so anyway that is my little update um, I've been doing great otherwise um, life has been going on uh, nothing major to report really so um, that's all I have for today and I will be back I am uh, using some of my paper pads and making some cards for pen friends and mailing those out and I will make an effort to take a picture of those cards that I create of the pocket letters or of any other project that I use my stash with I will take a picture of it and I will share it here or I will share it also here and in on my blog as well and I will put a blog link down below for those of you who want to stop by and say hello there that would be awesome thank you for stopping by and for listening to me um, or uh, vent <laughs> what's been going on vent and um, just share venting and sharing with you but I will be back unfortunately for the time being there will be no haul videos but I can always um, share uh, when I go shopping in my stash and what I find in my stash um, that I have bought over time and that it's still <laughs> that it's still in my stash I will share that as a let's go shopping in my stash video perhaps or something to that effect because um, that is the only place that I will be shopping for craft supplies is in my stash and also this has um, spread out to the rest of my home where I have extra beauty supplies extra cleaning supplies uh, five bottles of laundry detergent or you know three bottles of dish detergent I am going to try to keep that down to a minimum and just so that my space where I store items also in the rest of the house so they're not as cluttered and um, that will help for me help relieve, relieve a little bit of stress from uh, visual overstimulation so to speak so basically that's the only reason why I'm why I decided to do this is just because there was an overabundance and there was more than enough and I just needed to um, bring some balance back into that anyhow comments questions post them down below and I will try to do my best to answer those for you I've cut my little strips out and these are things I found in my stash and this as well I will go ahead and fill that mail tag out and send it to my pen friend and off in the mail it will go uh, either today or tomorrow thanks for watching bye now